just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like I done made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and grave it Right and grave it Is our boy Kyle Hamilton ready to really take that next jump? Well, let's talk about it from this first question from my guy Terry. He said, all pro caliber season. Ooh. He said, what's up, Engraven? Hope you and the fam are doing well and continue to be blessed. Uh, I had a question. Uh, after coming off a year playing as the second string and learning the position behind a talented defensive back that left the team wanting to be in a bigger role and now having a full season under his belt with playoff experience okay hey i like all the little detailed information that you put in there and i appreciate you respecting chuck clark <laughs> even though it sounds like he ain't really res- <laughs> even though it didn't really sound like he respected the ravens on his way out but well, it's all good man hey, it's it's business baby anyway um he said, do you think it's possible we can see the generational talent that we drafted last year? Uh, that being Kyle Hamilton. And do you think uh, that he can have an all-pro season? Ooh, all-pro Kyle Hammy. Um, That's a really, really good question. And I think, maybe not all-pro, because I ain't, I ain't putting that on him yet. I, I think it's too early to expect that. I think... And I ain't even going to put Pro Bowl on him yet. But um, I do think he could take a jump this year. Reason being because while the offense is changing, G rolls out, Munkins in, new receivers, new this, da, 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 all that good stuff, which is great. The defense is remaining the same. And we saw Kyle Hamilton as the season went along last year. He got more and more and more and more and more, and more comfortable. And he looked better. He looked smoother. He looked more confident because, and that happens with all of us. If there's something that we're not really too familiar with, something that we're not too familiar with, when we first started, it can be rough. <laughs> it can be a big yikes too. Um, but the more we do it, the more we get used to it, the more we get comfortable. And, and then once we continue to do it and we get used to it, we get comfortable and then we do it with confidence. And that's what happened with Kyle Hamilton. He did things with more confidence. So I could definitely see him taking a nice jump this year. I ain't going to say all pro. I mean, we we ain't going to be mad if he gets all pro. Great. But I could just see his role. Obviously, his role would increase. But for me, if I'm the Ravens, like the way that I'm looking at this thing, I'm not fixing what's not broken. And I liked his role last year. He was around the line of scrimmage. He played a lot of slot and whatnot. He was a blitzer and whatnot. He, like... I'm not changing it. Like, and again, I get it. That's a number 14 overall pick, and he wears number 14 too. So, uh, obviously, his role going to increase, but I'm thinking like, hey, like, use him how you used him. Yeah, expand his role, but use him how you used him. My, that's just my opinion, man. If it ain't broke, like, what's the sense of fixing it? Um, so, you could you could still have him drop back sometimes. I guess the, the Chuck Clark role, because Chuck Clark, that's how he was. He, I mean, but... He, I don't think Chuck Clark would, and it's not a knock at Chuck Clark at all, but he's not as physically talented as a Kyle Hamilton, in my opinion. Um, so with Chuck Clark, he, he did a lot of those same things. That was his role, but with Kyle Hamilton, it just, I feel like he could do just a little bit more than Chuck Clark, especially once he, like, really get find his footing, which he, he was doing that last year. Um, I think he he's just capable of just doing his thing there. Um, and you could have him drop back, but if you want to have – Two drop back safeties. Obviously, you got Marcus Williams, but then, and they're going to switch stuff up. It's not going to be two safeties dropping back every single time. But um, you got Geno Stone, too. Geno Stone, not bad by any means. By any means. I think with Geno Stone, the only thing missing from Geno Stone, in my opinion, is just opportunity, really. Because when he's been out there, he showed, hey, I can play. I can play. But he just ain't really had the opportunity like that because there's always been guys in front of him with the Ravens. So when he's come to fill in, when he's had his number called, Geno Stone been solid, man. So, and then, I mean, you got Brandon Stevens, too, who the Ravens absolutely adore. Um, so, that's another option. So, you got options, man. So, it, it ain't like with Kyle Hamilton, if you keep him around the line of scrimmage and whatnot, it ain't like, all right, well, man, 
what are we gonna do as safety now? Who who's gonna be our safety that's that that's over top that drops back and what? No, you got options. So we'll see what happens with that. I say also wanted to thank you for all of uh, my previous questions that I asked, and you doing your complete best with giving us Ravens content, even when times are tough. Uh, moments like that is what makes a community whole. Thank you and keep going. Hey, I, I appreciate that a lot, Terry. Thank you, thank you for for supporting and thank you for uh, even thank you for sending this question because Kyle Hamilton, man, not that he's a forgotten man by any means because he really ain't. We all remember who Kyle Hamilton is, um, but he is uh, somebody who I really think could be a big part of, of what Ravens are doing moving forward. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he is a first round pick too So I think Ravens think he could be a big part Of what they do moving forward But I, I just I, I could really see him just Getting more turnovers um, Just Being annoying to, to, to offensive players Being annoying to tight ends Being annoying to receivers coming across Because Kyle Hamilton like look man Like once he got going Especially when he laid that hit in the playoffs He, he laid that what was, what was it on I think it was on Hayden Hurst I think I'm pretty sure it was on Hayden Hurst. I said, oh, okay, now, nah, Hammy. I, I could think he forced a fumble and all that, too. We remember when, again, against Nelson Aguilar. But it, where he, uh, in the Patriots game, where he went, pop, and knocked that ball out to, to close out the game. Because Patriots, that, that game was still close, man. It wasn't close, close but it was close. It was too close for comfort, especially at the Ravens. You know, last year, boy, they had them fourth quarter leads. And, oh, so many of them have evaporated. But Kyle Hamilton helped close that game out. So, yeah, it's like... It's there And then I think But I think his first interception Didn't they get called back Cause I think they called like Defensive holding on somebody And Kyle Hamilton Got his first pick I believe um, But anyway So It's there It's it's, it's right there and, and we so excited To just see him Continue Moving forward um, So yeah man I, I appreciate you bringing this question To all of our minds And all of our attention Cause yeah Kyle Hamilton is ready <laughs> 